rockin' with amazing. You now watchin' amazing. Thanks for joining amazing. Get creative with amazing. The items you would need would be wax paper. You can get it from Dollar Tree for a dollar. And let's see. Uh, gift tissue, it's a dollar. You know, you could just cut it in the squares to go on the paper, the printer paper. Um, and you can tape it to the printer paper. And make your logo from off Google. Use the tape to tape it. Make sure you center the logo on the paper before you print it. You're going to see why I say that in a minute. Scissors. Glue stick. Elmer's glue stick. That's the purple kind, but it, it still went clear. A blow dryer. Candle. The whole purpose. Take the candle out the pack, or if you're one of the mad geniuses that know how to make your candle from scratch, do what you do. But this candle came from Dollar Tree. It's a scented candle, one of their scented candles. I just, I just get these because it's just easier for the DIY. Take the top off of it. There go your candle. Next, you're gonna get your tissue paper. The gift tissue is taped on to the printer paper so that the logo could print on to the tissue paper. But it gets the printer get the sturdiness of the printer paper. But you need the logo to be on the tissue paper, and you you tape it on to it so that it can, you know, it won't clog the printer or mess the printer up. I've already done a couple candles. But right now, I'm gonna do the Chanel expired inspired candle. So I'm gonna cut out my logo it's easier it's easier to cut the logo with the printer paper attached excuse my phone so loud going off and you want to cut as close to the label as close as possible to the label without cutting it though see it's still attached to now this is the reason why you kind of want to center your logo because I have I got tape on the back of this logo because you know you have to tape down the um the gift tissue before you print it onto the gift tissue and you when you know when you tape it down to your printer paper this can happen if it's if the logos are too close to the edge so that was a bummer forget it i'm happy i printed extra you know because things happen nothing is perfect and i left that in the video just so you can see what i mean by trying to print your logos close like you know towards the middle cuz I did mine on the side it was my first time printing uh the logo papers and taping and just getting everything it doesn't matter how you cut the the logo out you see that I got curves in mine now you want to try to Place the logo on the candle as straight as possible, no matter if it's in the center or if you want it to go up closer to 
you know, closer to the top or closer to the bottom. Just make sure that it's straight as possible. And I need to cut some more. So I'm going to take the printer paper so it could be easy to cut the gift tissue and make it closer to the top of the logo so I can make the logo closer to the top of the candle. All right, I'm trying to place it and once I see that it's, you know, placed, you know, close to the top like I want it to be or if you want it in the middle, just make sure the logo is good. I'm gonna take my Elmer's glue and on the back of the tissue paper, on the back of the logo, take the Elmer's glue and use it so it can stick to the candle. Now me, don't be like me and don't put the top back on the Elmer's glue cause it gets dry and I gotta cut the top off in order to use the glue and you know blah 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 blah, blah. but even though it's purple it still comes on clear so take it spread it on the back spread it on the back on the back on the back on the back all over it try not to rip the tissue paper is really really thin you know and place it where you desire for your logo to sit on your candle and with the Elmer's glue it helps it to stick okay smooth it out real good smooth it out smooth it out now at this point you still can see the tissue paper when you you know put it on the candle with the Elmer's glue. But that is not the last step. Take your um, wax paper, cut a little piece off, however big you need it to be, depending on how big your candle is, and place it on top of the logo. Secure it, place it as tight as possible around it. Now make sure the, the the wax paper is smooth over it. Me, I, I, I be burning my hand using this, um, this, this blow dryer. So I, I try to like hold it from the back so that it can barely touch my hand. Now, as you can see, is, is you know, it's not that dark, you know. It's not onto the wax paper. They say three minutes typically, I say until it's, it's dark. You see it's trying, it's starting to melt. The wax paper is showing a darker color of the print. And when it starts showing the darker color of the print, it is melting onto the candle. So do that step until it's melted completely onto the candle. They, they say three minutes. Mine's usually only take about not even a minute. So I guess it depends on the candle and everything. If the candle melts fast. See how dark it is now. It's dark now. You can see the logo way more clear. And just pull the, wrap, the, the, the wax paper off. It's not going to take off. And now you cannot see the gift tissue at all. Not even a little bit. Not even a sign of it. Just the logo. See the wick at the top. Now, I'm, you know, I, I usually, I, in my mind, I would have stopped this video right now because that was the whole point. But I think I'm going to decorate it the way I want to a little bit. At least a little bit. To, you know just to show you what you can possibly do um the the wax paper the tissue paper the candle the 
the the bling that you see right there in my hand all of that is from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna wrap the bling around the bottom because I have my logo closer to the top of my candle and as you can see my candle is kind of small so and I'm gonna do it like that what I'm gonna do is measure it all the way around and I'm going to only lap over one stream of the uh, the bling wrap and I'm gonna cut it in the desired spot and I'm not gonna put any glue on my candle I am going to lap over one strip of bling over the last strip or the first strip I'm going to lap the last strip over the first strip of bling and I'm going to attach it that way. See that I got how, you know where to cut it. Cut your bling wherever you you know you desire to cut it. If you want to put glue on your candle by all means um you could try it out. I've never tried it. It may work or it may melt the candle. Um there you and I just lap it lap one one strip and I'm gonna apply some hot glue over the first strip over the very first strip over over each bling part you see I'm doing it in dots because I'm doing it over the bling part and I'm just going to lap it with one strip of bling lap over it just so it can still look even and still look, you know, in place, you see, you can't even tell. You know? And I do that just in case the person that I'm giving this candle to wants to take the blink off the candle candle when you know they when they when they light it. Alright, so now I'm going to take this glass, the square glass I got. It's like a candle holder that I got from Dollar Tree. I got it in the candle holder um, set section. Take the little bottom part off. And there's another candle holder that I got, you know, just like a little candle holder stand. And I'm going to attach them with the hot glue. I'm going to apply some bling around it so that it can match the candle, you know, just so it can be pretty and blinged. And I'm going to do a little different method with this one because it's glass so I can't attach the bling to the glass if I want to and that's what I'm going to do attach the bling to the glass so yeah I tried it with you know the way I did the candle and it just it didn't it didn't look right to me but it probably depends on the type of glass you're attaching it to and the ripples through the glass and you know this one had a little you know I had a little problem with attaching it like this I didn't like it so that didn't quite work and I leave all of this footage in there just so that you can see that some things just doesn't work and you have to you know if it doesn't look right, if it's not neat, and just just take it off and try another method. Don't give up. This time I put the glue on the glass and I attach the bling to the glass. This is a more permanent way anyway. Just attach it and see how it's attached now. And I'm gonna put a little bit of bling over and I'll put a little bit more glue 
over the glass and can just continue to wrap it. A little bit of glue. A little bit of glue. And just wrap the bling around. You can put the glue on the glass or on the bling. It doesn't matter. Either way, it's going to be attached. Wrap a little bit more of the bling around and attach some more glue. See? Yep. Attach it. And now I'm just going to complete it by lapping the last strip of bling over the first strip of bling. As you can see, just wrap it around and attach it, see? And just lap it with one strip, no more than that. You don't want it to look bulky or out of place or Make sure you press down over it to make sure that it's all sticking. It's blingy. Now, for the next step, clean the glue around it and just figure out where you're gonna place, where you're gonna place your candle. you're gonna place it so that you can determine the back of the candle holder now, I thought about putting some bling over this glass but I don't want my candle to be covered up and I could have put it on the side but it just looked like it's just doing too much so you know, I'm honestly I might go back and put some bling over it, but for right now I'm just you know I'm just gonna leave it like that because it looks very pretty and elegant. It's not too much and it's just beautiful. So we're just gonna leave it like that. And well, for right now. Now to attach the the candlestick holder, the stand and the holder, just put some hot glue around the rim of the stand. I put two coats, yeah, but I went around it, you know, a few times, just so I can make sure that it really holds really well and. Just attach it, try to attach it as close to the middle of the um, candle holder as possible. You see, it's sticking already. How I was holding it with just one hand. And I'm just gonna sit it to the side and let it. Thanks. And please subscribe to my channel, like, Let's try to get at least 10 likes and at least